All right, guys. Well, I'm excited to talk to you about uh, Tom and Jerry in New York, which uh, just premiered on HBO Max. It's really funny. A uh, really classic kind of Tom and Jerry 2D animation. Uh, before we get into that, though, uh, here at Bionic Buzz, we are all about people's passions. I want our passion to be like compute, a composer kind of come from. Was a certain soundtrack inspired it or something that was natural for you? Let's start with you, Keith. I started out playing guitar when I was 40 years old, and I started because of the Beatles, and <laughs> I, uh, I always drew and I always played the guitar. I uh, started playing in bands in my teens. I uh, didn't know how to find an art school when I was uh, graduated high school, but I did know how to find a music school. <laughs> because uh, they advertised in the back of Guitar Player Magazine, Musicians Institute, go baby, go. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, I uh, studied music there, uh, uh, played music for a while, uh, started working in, uh, in animation uh, five years later, and then started getting the opportunities to write songs. So I, uh, so that's how it happened for me. Uh, cool. Actually, I think it back. My first song I wrote uh, with a Russian comedian by the name of Yakov Smirnov, and I wrote it for his his comedy routine. Um, oh, really? Then, yeah, yeah. I, I've I've interviewed him before. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well, well uh, I try to remember where when he, but he, I think he does shows now in um, Branson, Missouri. If I'm uh, yeah, Branson. Although I heard that he had moved back to LA, but maybe okay. Uh, maybe I'm well, my my father-in-law lives in Branson, so when I was uh, there, I kept seeing ads for his thing, and I was like. Oh, I know. I interviewed him at the Hollywood Christmas Parade once. So. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so then in, in terms of uh, like my my favorites uh, in terms of, of classical, it's Rachmaninoff. Yeah. Uh, and, um, I just love him. Uh, of, the, of the old composers, of the current ones, John Williams is just, you know, totally. Oh, amazing. yeah, by far. The and, Star Wars and, and yeah. I the, the guitar players that inspire me, Larry Carlton is uh, is one guitar hero. Steve Morse from the Dixie Dregs, another guitar hero. Jimmy Bruno, uh, bop player. Um, Howard Roberts uh, designed the curriculum for for uh, guitar at Musicians Institute, and and it was a thrill to to be able to play with him when I was going to school there. Um, just uh, and then. And then uh, for for songwriting, like I said, the Beatles probably more than than anybody. But I yeah, I, I yeah. love. Uh, Do you have a favorite Beatles song? Yeah, yeah. Oh, darling. Nice. I like "Help Me." That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's a great one too. Very cool. So that's that's my story. Over to uh, you. Oh, hey, sure. I love that. I love it. Say same question, right? Well, I like to hear your backstory too. Oh, was the, was the question, can you give me Oh, where, where'd your passion for music come from that led you on this musical journey to, um, you know, being, you know, writing music now for cartoons and stuff? Yeah, it's like, like, like Keith, I don't even remember not playing music, uh, really. I, mm -hmm. I started playing piano when I was five. And um, I don't know, I was just drawn to it. I, my, my parents weren't uh, into music at all. And I was, grew up in a little tiny town in Tennessee, but, uh, I just, and then I remember when I heard the, my, an orchestra for the first time, and it was, I'm sure it was our little hometown, and it was probably not good, but I, I was, you know, so young, I thought it was the most amazing thing I'd ever heard, so I kind of gravitated toward uh, symphonic sound, and then being a, you know, playing piano too, I, I, I would hit heroes like Van Cliburn and Horowitz and people like that, I would, and I got, really got into classical music, just because I love the sound of the or, uh, orchestra, but then when I, you know, started noticing film music had, you know, that, that same huge sound too. And so then I somehow started sneaking into thinking that I might do that someday, but uh, that was a little bit down the road. But uh, yeah, I was always going into arranging and uh, for when, when, I, when we were kids, I played, also played saxophone. I'd arrange like saxophone quartets for my, in junior high for, <laughs> for students oh, and cool. just stuff like that. And then, um, and then fast forward, I guess, uh, I got into writing for uh, advertising uh, stuff, you know, production music and learned how to use technology. Technology was just start, starting to come in um, 
it's amazing what is available now if I had that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and I, I and always tell people, thank God for that te technology during the pandemic because so many bands I've interviewed, or even just doing this now over Zoom instead of doing on red carpet, I mean, they, they send each other tracks and everything. And I, I guess that goes to my next question though, because when did you guys start doing this? Was this during the pandemic? Like were you guys actually in the together in studio beforehand or this, this uh, Tom and Jerry in New York, you know? Well, specifically, uh, they, they'd asked me to do this a year before and I was busy working on a movie, so I couldn't do it. Okay. And then in July of last year, I got a call from them again and said, hey, we really want to make these musicals uh, and any chance to change your mind. And by then, Greg and I had worked on a few things together and I was just having so much fun. I said, yeah, we'll do it. So let's do let's do this. So so uh, and I had already been working remotely for for the last three or four years. So I was. I was I'd already been used to, to working from home. Uh, and and uh, so, you know, we would, uh, we would write, like uh, typically, um, because I was the one getting handed the assignments to, to write the cartoons, I would write the lyrics in this, although Greg also writes, he's got a, he's got a musical uh, in the works that he's trying to get on Broadway. And, oh, very um, cool. But just, you know, just the way things are. Everyone has a musical. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, just the way things work out. So yeah. yeah, I guess walk us through. So they send you the animation, right? Or is it is it a rough animation, or is it done? And then you got to kind of no, have no, to like no. just your wheels got to turn and figure out like how uh, got to come up with stuff. Nope, uh, exact opposite of that. So uh, <laughs> I would uh, I would submit premises for the cartoons. Then one, when one got approved, I would write the cartoon. Uh, in an outline form, uh, which would also, in, uh, uh, somewhere in there, we would kick around ideas, what kind of song should it be? And, and, uh, and uh, so when we had a, a sense of the form of the song, we knew they all had to be three minutes. So that gave us a clue of, well, if it's at this tempo, this is how many bars we got to work with. If it's mm -hmm. another tempo, yeah. we got to so, so we had the, those sorts of constraints built in, and um, generally, I would uh, I would have at least most of the lyrics worked out, and sometimes I would would because uh, he's write, writing the story too. Yeah, 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 right. So, so I guess I guess usually I had I had all the lyrics written, but but sometimes we would revise them as we went uh, as we got better ideas, and um, I would usually write enough of the song to establish the feel of it, what it sounded like. And then as soon as I could, I'd turn it over to Greg so that uh, he could get going on it and, and I could start on the storyboarding. So, so uh, yeah. Um, Very cool. So that's what makes it so unusual. It, yeah, also, it's a big process, yeah. Uh, music is, is, you know, to be doing both, wearing both hats. And I don't know that, I don't know anybody else doing that. So this he's also storyboarding the, and writing, and writing the cartoon, yeah. So, wow. So, so the music awesome. comes first, and then we sit, and then when we he gets the storyboard, we get we go back and forth. Things will come up, which is a he points out it never happens in animation. Usually, it's it's all done storyboard and animated, and never the twain shall meet musically, right? And then they hand it over to the music people, and they do their thing. But this is we had some back and forth, and right. so we would have we would have the structure of the song. Uh, and I would import it into editing software, which was a whole new thing for, for the way I work. Normally when you're, you're storyboarding for, for television or films, you just do your, your drawings and then you hand those over and then an editor puts them together. But that just never would have worked this way because we had to time all the drawings to the music. So we would at least have the framework of the song uh, in a program like Premiere or, or uh, Final Cut. And then I'd start putting the drawings into Final Cut and timing the drawings to the music. Meanwhile, Greg is fleshing out the score. And by the time we get to the end, the drawings are, are done, the score is done. And uh, fortunately, they all came out really well. And I feel like each one yeah. we did got better and better and better. I love that. So, how, so uh, I mean, thank you for painting that picture. 
Uh, so roughly, how long does it take to do each episode then? Because they're roughly around like three minutes, right? Yeah, the, we uh, had three and a half weeks to do everything from write the cartoon, write the music, storyboard it, turn it into an, an animatic, and then hand it in. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, it was fast. It was yeah, fast. yeah, that's not easy. <laughs> Jeez. It's terrifying. And how many drawings, how many so, drawings do you do? Like, yeah. oh hundreds hundreds of hundreds yeah. of drawings like like okay uh, so you guys are you guys talented artists or are you just good enough to make like an animatic or yeah you know? i've been working in animation for the last 30 years so uh, you'll have to ask my boss if i'm talented <laughs> <laughs> but i guess yeah, talented cool. enough to do work. <laughs> and i can draw i can draw some I'm, you know I, I do i can paint and stuff so we do have <laughs> yeah. some art in common there's no way i could draw characters and all that stuff so, mm -hmm. but so, if it doesn't know, uh, the animatics basically just rough drawings with sound effects, either voiceover stuff, or um, cause I've done some of that stuff back in college a long time yeah. ago, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, these ones, um, there's, uh, uh, I put one of the cartoons that, uh, that I submitted a premise for, uh, but it, uh, it got turned down, um, is called Cheesemonger. And so, so Tom, is like a James Bond super spy and Jerry is like Blofeld or Goldfinger or somebody like that. And, uh, cool. and so since, since uh, Warner Brothers didn't, uh, didn't pay me for that one, I went ahead and, and, and drew it all out. And, uh, um, and is it on, is it on YouTube somewhere I could see it or? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to send you a link. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm going to send you a link. I'm sorry. I think I almost uh, watched you there. Oh, awesome. I was going to uh, say, maybe yeah, we'll so. see it in season two, but hey, if you already got up online, you know. <laughs> I'll, I'll send it in the chat window and you can you can check it out. And then you'll see what a, these type of animations that Keith is doing. Yeah, okay. when, when, yeah, because when you think of, uh, when you think of uh, what a normal animatic looks like, I would like to think that the animatics I turned in were really deluxe. Like they're, yeah, they, okay. uh, you know, without tooting my own horn too much, they blew up. <laughs> it was a lot more than you in a, in a storyboard. Yeah, because he was trying to catch it, he was getting all the sync points and all the, you know, to make sure it went with the music would go with the, uh, you know, the, the, the video. So, anyway, so yeah, if you want to check that out, that's uh, yeah, check it out right now. Cheesemonger, very oh, cool. Geez. Yeah. Well, uh, well, obviously this is done. It's already released on HBO Max. Uh, is there anything yeah. coming up that you guys are allowed to talk about? Anything you're working on, both of you? Uh, it, there's a, a a bunch of things that are in the works right now. Unfortunately, it's too early to to announce them. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're we're going to be doing this for some time to come. <laughs> <laughs> I love the uh, intro already with the, the <laughs> Tom walking out like James Bond and shooting. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely a way better drawer than I am for any of my animatics. So wow, <laughs> very impressive. So what did, what did you uh, edit this as a as a as an animation geek? What did you uh, did you just edit this in a Premiere Pro or something? Was it the drawings or I or put it in the Flash Final or Cut. Final Cut? I put it in okay. Final Cut. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as I leave this interview, I'm going to take uh, my my uh, license of Final Cut and throw it in the trash because <laughs> Premiere is, is way better for, for doing animatics. It's, yeah, uh, uh, well, even just editing for me, I, 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 I've switched to Premiere probably about like a year and a half, two years ago, and I haven't looked back. I mean, I, I used to always yeah. like say I loved Final Cut better than anything else, but... <laughs> Well, this is great. So, yes, yeah, so this is on your YouTube channel. Uh, I'll, I'll have a link at the bottom in the video. So <laughs> try to get the it's cheese in the museum in London. <laughs> oh, this is great. Fantastic. Well, there's a song too. You'll have to listen to the song. It's pretty, pretty crazy. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll watch it when we get off, and then I can listen to the song too. So, Well, great. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time to talk to me and painting what it's like to uh, – put this all together it's really really fascinating so um maybe one day we'll see each other red carpet i, mean, I used to cover the andes back in the day you know I, I did you guys ever go to that about you know at some point uh i haven't been to the andes yet i was gonna go uh, uh last year and then uh, just at the last minute end up not going but since we're gonna win the andes this year it, yeah <laughs> well oh, guys we're gonna drop 
Hope the day's over, guys. All right, thanks All right. a lot.